So guys, today my video is going to be how to install the Kodi app on your iPhone and connect it to your Sony Bravia TV which already has Kodi installed. So right now I'm using my remote over here and I'm just going to scroll down and show you guys. I've got Kodi installed over there but it is a bit of pain that I have to use my remote every time when I launch Kodi and after that um, I would want to use my iPhone app which I've downloaded over here that's the Kodi app and uh, I just want to make it more simpler instead of using the remote uh, you can just download the Kodi app on your smartphone and uh, I'm going to show you what are the settings you need to put in into your Kodi app so that it can speak to your TV so guys first off what you need to do is you need to go into your Play Store type in Kodi so after you get this you get this Kodi TV app and you get this Kodi remote so what you need is you need to download this Kodi uh, official Kodi remote not the Kodi TV app so once you do that all you have to do is you have to open it and uh, once you open it obviously I've already made the settings all you need to do is um, add a host from here add a host from here from the bottom so as soon as you click add a host you'll be presented with some information which you need to fill in so first is the description you can put anything in the description then you have the port the TCP port and that would be the IP address of your television and the port of your television which is usually 8080 and you don't need to put the MAC address the username and password will be Kodi and for the password you can just decide any password so first of all you need to open up the Kodi app on your smart TV so guys first of all we need to go into settings that's the gear icon then we have to go into service settings so hit service settings then we go into your control uh, just hit control and you'll be presented with allow remote control via HTTP so you have to just turn that on over here you put in the port I probably put 8080 you guys can choose anything that would be mirrored exactly against this port over here you have to fill the the same port number over here and then over here the username I've just left it as Cody and the password you can choose any password and that's pretty much it and the second thing what you need to do is if you hit the back button and over here you need to go into system information so in system information this is where you'll get your IP address I'm getting the memory the first line is for the memory the second is for the IP address copy that IP address uh, just type your IP address over here in the top column where it says host port I'll just zoom it a little bit for you guys and then you just have to put the port and the username and password so as I said just forget about the MAC address and that is pretty much it and if I'll just hit back okay guys so after it's connected uh, there'll be a green mark on the left of the Kodi and uh, that's where you'll know it's connected and if you open the menu over here you would find different options all you have to do is hit the remote control and it'll give you a whole full-fledged remote control I'm just going to show you that if I click down as you can see I can move it from my remote control now so the remote control interface is pretty straightforward uh, that is the back button and that is the home button so as soon as I click home it'll take me to home and then I can go into my add-ons and here we go guys These, this is where I'm in add-ons and uh, it's quite convenient to connect your Kodi wire your remote from your iPhone or from your Android as you see it's quite easy and uh, yeah guys uh, so this was my quick video so guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and do subscribe like and share and I'll catch you in my next video bye for now